tell a story about the. Uh, When you're ready. Welcome students, parents, and supportive community members. Uh, these are awkward times, but I think that you'll find uh, tonight's presentation to be uh, both enjoyable uh, and a celebration of some phenomenal work done by students here at Chico High School. Uh, my name is Doug Williams, and I'm the principal of Chico High School and I will be emceeing these awards. Um, we have uh, some helpers with us that I'll introduce as we go through the ceremonies that are going to uh, make it so you don't have to watch me for 45 minutes, but there's a little bit of spice in this. Uh, we apologize uh, that you can't be here in person because there's nothing better than patting someone on the back and rewarding them with uh, a certificate or money or applause for all the hard work they're doing. Um, these are out of our hands strange times, uh, but I hope you enjoy uh, the ceremony. And so without further ado, we will begin the 2020 Senior Scholarships and Awards Night for Chico High School. The first thing I would like to mention is that during this program, there's going to be a transition between myself, the MC, and the presenters on the other side of the podium. Um, students, pictures, and names will come up on the screen um, behind me. Uh, as well, this is live stream, but it's also recorded. Uh, so for posterity, um, you can have this and go back and look at it um, for the next 40, 50, 60 years, or bring it up anytime you want. Uh, fast forward to the parts you want to see, or watch your fellow classmates through the whole thing. Uh, we hope you have no technical difficulties, and we hope we have no technical difficulties. Um, I would like to say that when you're watching this, there's actually going to be three components. So the first component of this is going to be scholarships that are really, really either national scholarships, regional or state scholarships, or university level scholarships that take place outside of our community. Then there's two other parts. Uh, one is our community scholarships and community foundation scholarships. And, and so those are basically scholarships that generate either from Chico High teachers or past administrators uh, or their families and organizations that live in or around the Chico community and give back. Um, it goes without saying, too, and it shows a great reflection on our community, that the majority of scholarships presented tonight come from those last two fields, the community, the local region, and just the generosity of people uh, that really support students and education. And I want to say, before we start, thank you very much to any and all contributors to this scholarship night. Without further ado, our first presenter is Assistant Principal, Ms. Erica Sheridan. Good evening. I'm presenting the award for academic excellence presented from the office of Senator Nielsen. The following students are being honored with the award for academic excellence from the office of Senator Nielsen. These students have worked very hard <clears throat> to graduate in the top 5% of the Chico High School class of 2020. Maham Desai has earned the top weighted total grade point average, which is a 4.40, and all of the following students that I'm about to announce have earned a 4.18 total weighted GPA and higher. Congratulations to these students for this impressive accomplishment. Mohammed Al Jabori, Raymond Barber, Thomas Barber, Mary Blau, Alyssa Carr, Bailey Christensen, Jasmine Darish, Maham Desai, Alejandro Garrido, Aaron Gonzalez, Severa Khan, Talia Kruger, Ruby Lundberg, 
Olivia Morska, Alan Nava, Aisha Patel, Tyler Quillacy, John Paul Quinones, Darby Ray, Colby Rickleman Boone, Olivia Seward, Andrew Snyder, Samrat Tapa, and Josette Travis. Congratulations. I'd like to uh, invite Mr. Kessler, Assistant Principal, up to the podium. Thank you, Ms. Sheridan. Good evening, Panther family. Our next award is City of Chico Mayor's Award. The following students were nominated the City of Chico Mayor's Award for exhibiting the following characteristics. Leadership, positive attitude, inspiration to others, community service, and scholastic achievement. The mayor has recorded a special message for these students. Hi, I'm Ann Schwab. I'm the mayor of the city of Chico. And I'm here to present the Mayor's Awards to two deserving students from the graduating class. These students are positive influences in class. They show respect for teachers and other students. They act to improve school and community. The first award goes to Kaylee Carone. Kaylee is a 4-H officer and an FFA mentor, very involved in community service. She has a strong GPA, taking rigorous classes despite significant challenges. Congratulations, Kaylee. The second award goes to Jonah Espinoza. Jonah is a natural leader, has quiet determination. In a time of crisis, he provided inspiration and a positive attitude to assist his peers dealing with their grief. Thank you, Jonah, and congratulations. said the recipients of this award, Kaylee Caron and Jonah Espinoza. The next award is the Rotary Citizenship Award. Chico Noon Rotary recognizes students who exemplify the goal of Rotary, service above self. These two individuals have demonstrated outstanding leadership and philanthropy throughout their high school and are receiving a certificate and small monetary token of appreciation. Victoria Jacobson. Bibiana Quintana. Next award is the United States Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award, Distinguished Athlete Award, and Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. Every year, the Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing outstanding performances in academics, athletics, and music. All three fields exemplify the qualities that are inherent to the Marine Corps. Smart, tough, and elite. In this day and age, mental strength has joined physical fitness as the distinguishing hallmarks of a Marine. The Marine Corps recognizes these outstanding students in three disciplines. For acad academics, the scholastic Excellence Award, for Athletics, the Distinguished Athlete Award, and for Music, the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. Maham Desai, Scholastic Excellence Award. Distinguished Athlete Award, Abraham Del Real. Distinguished Athlete Award, Eliana Sheridan. Semper Fidelis for Musical Excellence, Olivia Morska. Our next award is the Air Force Math and Science Award. The Air Force is pleased to present this prestigious Air Force Math and Science Award, honoring our top graduating seniors in math and science. The Air Force applauds students 
whom accept the challenges required to excel in today's sophisticated environment. We would like to honor those students whom have put forth the effort necessary to achieve their goals in both math and science. Raymond Barber. Samrat Thapa. Our next presenter is Chico High School counselor Jennifer Carey. Angelica Giacoboni, Severa Khan, Jackson Nicholson, Alan Nava, Esha Patel, Olivia Seward, Samrat Thapa, Patricia Fatford, and Josette Travis. And now I'd like to introduce our principal again, Mr. Doug Williams. Thank you very much, Mr. Carey. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kessler, Ms. Sheridan. Um, one of the things that's troublesome when you're videoing without a live audience is you miss that chance like we all I'm sure have come to a conclusion through this COVID situation, is you miss the anecdotal. When you're on video or you're Zooming, you can get the information across, uh, we can celebrate the students, but you really miss that human to human, the contact and the anecdotal uh, uh, sayings that happen when, when, when students walk up and accept an award. I apologize that we don't have that tonight. Hopefully uh, you can provide some of that levity and the side discussion in your own living rooms. Um, before I go on to our next section, um, I just, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the students that you're seeing up here are obviously so much more than just faces on a board. Um, they make my job so much easier and everyone else is here um, because when eighth graders or seventh graders come to our school, particularly incoming ninth graders and they, I greet them in the Lincoln Center um, and I'm often at, you know, what can I do at Chico High? How can you help me improve myself? Um, I, really, I truly believe, because I'm a, a Chico High graduate myself um, and a recipient of uh, several awards that helped me move on in my education, um, and what I appreciate is I make this statement to the incoming ninth graders that if you take yourself seriously, your academics seriously, or whatever your pursuits are, athletics or leadership or community support, working in hospitals or Boy Scouts, that I believe that with your hard work and your parents or your supporters' energy and this school, that you can go anywhere. 
um, on the board tonight, you're seeing awards recipients, but you're seeing people that have been accepted to MIT, Caltech, Cornell, various other Ivy League schools, um, premier uh, institutions in the West, UC LA, UC Santa Barbara, UC San Diego, UC Berkeley, Stanford, Brown, also our local junior colleges are recruiting our students and we have quite a few students that are looking at going into the Army and the Navy and several into the Marines. Um, so I just wanted to try to put some reality to the faces that you're seeing up here that these students really have exhibited unbelievable uh, accomplishments that are only not just coming out of Chico High School but going all over the world. Uh, with that, we move on to the next section of our awards. Uh, this section uh, is really near and dear to my heart. It's run by an organization known as the Chico High School Foundation Scholarship. Um, and this is a group of community individuals that meet and take part uh, to select uh, a, a myriad of scholarships that are put forth from family members to businesses and, and organizations. And all of these individuals have personal ties to either students, family members, or staff that either worked at or went through Chico High School. So uh, without further ado, um, I will uh, bring up Trisha uh, to uh, give the first set of awards in this column. And so one of our counselors, Trisha Davis, could you please join us? Thank you. Good evening. The Class of 2020 Community Organization and University Scholarships. During this section of the program, we'll be honoring students who have either informed us of receiving community and university scholarships or the organization organizations have reached out to us directly to share this information. We recognize that so many of our students are receiving scholarships that we may not be aware of at this time, so we would like to congratulate them as well. From the Chico Unified Teachers Association, Member Dependent Scholarship, Graduating Senior Scholarship. Chico Unified Teachers Association presents this award to students recognized by staff who have added positively to the Chico High campus and culture and our deserving student based on both academic and extracurricular accomplishments. The member dependent scholarship is awarded to Abraham Del Real. Member dependent scholarship awarded to Lila Klein. Graduating senior scholarship awarded to Raymond Barber. And a graduating Senior Scholarship awarded to Tucker Chapin. Graduating Senior Scholarship awarded to Madison Kreckel. Hopefully that's correct. Next up is the California School Employees Association. The CSEA Chapter 110 recognizes the great effort from classified employees and offers a scholarship to qualified high school seniors who have a family member that is a current CSEA member and is selected based on academic standing, community service, and an essay describing their vocational and academic goals. Congratulations are awarded to Savannah Martin, Alan Nava, Nicholas Polito, Caitlin Sal Salier, and Vanessa Vang. Teachers Association Member Dependent Scholarship. The California Teachers Association offers a maximum of 35 scholarships of up to $5,000 each for dependent children of CTA members to support CTA members and their families. Congratulations are awarded to Isaac Schwerin, the California State Retirees. California State Retirees Chapter 14 offers a scholarship to qualified high school seniors who have a family member that is a current or retired California State employee and is selected based on academic standing, community service, and an essay describing their vocational and academic goals and the impact they will have on the community. 
Congratulations to Haley Funé for being selected this year. The next award is for Chico High School PTSA, graduating senior. Chico High School PTSA scholarships are given to graduating high school seniors from Chico High School. The scholarship is for use at an, at an accredited college, university, community college, trade, or technical school. This scholarship is to recognize volunteer service in the school and community. And that is awarded to Viviana Quintana, Robert Tamiasen, Andrew Snyder, Lyndon Rodstrom, and William Bearden. The next award is in honor of Elks Most Valuable Student. The following students were chosen by the Chico Elks Lodge for demonstrating academic excellence, extracurricular involvement, leadership, and community service. William Bearden, Viviana Quintana, Olivia Seward, and Andrew Snyder. And Andrew Snyder moved through local and state levels and was a national semifinalist. Congratulations, Andrew. The next award is on, on behalf of the Chico Elks Ladies, number 423. The Chico Elks Ladies select an overall outstanding local senior student who is a relative of a past or present elk and exhibits excellence in academics and has a history of community service. And this award goes to Taryn Quillacy. Next up is Mr. Kessler. Okay, our next award is Bridging the Gap for Breast Cancer. Bridging the Gap for Breast Cancer Fund is supported by the Women, Women's Golf Club at Canyon Oaks Country Club and is pleased to provide financial assistance by awarding students to further their education. Their hope is that the scholarship will ease the emotional and financial burden of students that have a, love, have a loved one with breast cancer diagnosis. The scholarship will be set up as a grant at the college or university of the student's choice, which can be used for tuition, fees, and books. This year, five Chico High School students have been selected for this scholarship. Riley Freeman, Mariella Galvan Moreno, Talia Kruger, Sophie Purser, Erica Sauce. Congratulations. Our next award, the Vincenzo. Bellini Lodge, the Sons and Daughters of Italy, Reno and Stella Ricci Memorial. The Sons and Daughters of Italy, Vincino Bellini Lodge, presents this scholarship in memory of Reno and Stella Ricci Memorial to a student demonstrating academic success and has been involved in their school and community. Congratulations to Mary Blau. Next award, Chico Kiwanis Key Club. The, Ch the Kiwanis Club of Chico is pleased to honor these students with a scholarship of their service to Key Club and the community. Congratulations to Darby Ray. Congratulations, Macy Spearman. Our next award is Sierra Pacific Foundation. The Sierra Pacific Foundation is the philanthropic organization founded by the Emerson family in 1979. It's a great year. Over those years, it, was donate, it has donated over $8.3 million in scholarships. In addition to scholarships, the foundation contributes to youth activities and other organizations in the communities where Sierra Pacific Industries operates. The Sierra Pacific Foundation grants scholarships to qualified, dependent children of Sierra Pacific industry employees. 
Sierra Pacific is pleased to award the following student with a scholarship. Congratulations to Puan Lal. Sorry, I forgot my itinerary. <laughs> Keep looking to my support. Thank you for your patience. Our next award is the Chico Republican Women Federated. Chico Republican Women Federated supports our community areas to educate and promote the Republican Party. The organization gives out a scholarship each year to high school seniors. They have selected Natalie Hernandez to receive the scholarship this year. Congratulations, Natalie. I next would like to reintroduce Miss Jennifer Carey. And now I'd like to introduce the award for California Women for Agriculture, North Valley Chapter. California Women for Agriculture, North Valley Chapter annually awards scholarships to Northern California students pursuing careers in agriculture. Since the year 2000, the North Valley Chapter has awarded over $50,000 in scholarships to high school seniors and university students through its scholarship program. We've been informed that the following two students have been selected for scholarships this year. Congratulations to Kaylee Carone. Congratulations to Natalie Hernandez. The next award is the Glen County 4-H. Sarah Mendonca of the Chap Clover 4-H Club is the recipient of a $300 Glen County 4-H Council Scholarship. She has been in 4-H for nine years and is a senior at Chico High. She has participated in many 4-H projects, including a teen junior leader for the Market Goat Project for five years. She has been a member of the 4-H County Ambassador Team for two years and was her community cl club's secretary. She's currently Chico High's FFA secretary. Sarah will be attending Butte College in the fall and looking forward to earning a degree in ag business. She plans on working in sales in the agricultural industry. Best of luck, Sarah. The next award is Butte County Lone Pine 4-H. The following students have been selected for Lone Pine 4-H scholarships this year based on their participation in 4-H. Leadership, service to others, depth and breadth of the 4-H experiences and activities. Both Kaylee Carone and Haley Korf have been recognized for their hard work and dedication. Kaylee has additionally been recognized with a Butte County 4-H scholarship for her work as an ambassador, a junior team leader, and participation in the Chico High FFA leadership team. Congratulations, Kaylee. And congratulations, Haley. The next scholarship is the Bob Maurer Memorial North Valley Health Education Fund. The North Valley Health Education Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving health through education. The goal of, is to educate people about health-related issues and financially support students involved in the health sciences. They have selected Samrat Thapa to receive the Bob Maurer Memorial Scholarship this year. Congratulations, Samrat Thapa. And now the Dave, Dr. David and Amy Hahn Award. David Hahn graduated at the top of his class in 1991 at Chico High. He was an outstanding scholar athlete who is now a hospitalist physician at Enlo. He's married to Chico High grad as well, and they feel strongly about giving back to their alma mater. 
This is not a scholarship students can apply for, but rather they're chosen by a committee for their outstanding academic performance and solid work ethic. Congratulations to Emmanuel Galagos Martinez. Congratulations to Abriana Hernandez. Congratulations to Olivia Villasenor. And now I would like to introduce Trisha Davy. The next scholarship announcement is for the National Merit McAllister College Award. McAllister College National Merit Scholarships are awarded to National Merit finalists who have dis designated McAllister as their first choice college. Merit Scholar designees are selected on the basis of their skills, accomplishments, and potential for success in a rigorous college study. The scholarship being awarded is $8,000. The winner of that award is Andrew Snyder. Next up is the DeWitt Wallace Distinguished Scholarship, McAllister College. The DeWitt Wallace Distinguished Scholarship is awarded on a highly competitive basis to selected students whose academic records have shown them to be worthy of recognition. Andrew Snyder will receive $15,500 each year for four years at McAllister College. The scholarship is awarded to Andrew Snyder. The Regent Scholarship, University of California, Irvine. The Regent Scholarship is the most distinguished merit scholarship awarded by the University of California, Irvine to highly selective, outstanding students. This student was chosen for this prestigious honor based on his academic record and significant accomplishments. The scholarship is a $5,000 scholarship per academic year. This award is awarded to Tyler Quilsey. Distinguished Dean Scholarship, University of California, Irvine. The Distinguished Dean Scholarship recognizes academic excellence in high school and reflects UC Irvine's confidence that this student will thrive as a member of the UC Irvine community. The Distinguished Dean Scholarship is a $3,000 scholarship renewable for two academic years. The scholarship has been awarded to Tyler Quilsey. The Summit Scholarship, University of Oregon. The University of Oregon grants Summit Scholarships which reward scholars for receiving, sorry, reaching the peak of high school achievement. The award is for $10,000 per year for four years. Congratulations for William Bearden. Uh, next, I believe, are we going back to Mr. Williams? Thank you. So again, as I mentioned in the last time, um, we have students traveling all over McAllister uh, College, a high, very prestigious college. Uh, children going to Oregon, going to Southern California. So they really are producing not only uh, in our arena, but in, in the outside arenas. Um, our next move now is to specifically those Chico High School Foundation scholarships that I mentioned before. Um, I want to state that the Chico High Foundation was founded in, in 2003 by one of my predecessors and leaders, uh, principal of Chico High School then, Mr. Roger Williams, who was actually my, my principal and has the same great last name. And his wife and my wife also share the same first name. So there's some similarities. Hopefully I can follow a little bit in his footsteps. Uh, he passed away suddenly, unfortunately, in October of 2010. Uh, Roger's vision was to create a foundation with the mission of raising money to fund scholarships, school projects, and classroom needs. Many generous families, organizations, and individuals have made the following scholarships possible for Chico High students. And I really appreciate um, all of their work. Um, and next up to present these is again Ms. Erica Sheridan. The 
The next award is the Chico High Staff Roger Williams Memorial. <clears throat> this scholarship, funded and selected by Chico High Staff, honors students who have demonstrated a true commitment toward Chico High in thought, word, and deed. Congratulations, Raymond Barber. Congratulations, Mary Blau. Congratulations, Lila Klein. Congratulations, Taryn Quillacy. And congratulations, Robert Tomiason. The next award is Selden Madhu Science. Selden Madhu was a longtime chemistry teacher at Chico High School. He and his wife, Marge, established the Madhu Scholarship to recognize and support a student who has an interest and talent in science. The science department selects this awardee on behalf of the family. The student selected for this award this year is Maham Desai. Congratulations. Maham is an exceptional science student, has a ready smile, and is a very kind and positive person. She has straight A's at Chico High School, and many of those hard to come by A-plus grades. She has been described as being in the top 10 students that her science teacher has taught in a 30 plus year career. Maham has been a hardworking science, excuse me, a hardworking leader of the school science club. She is serious about science and plans to pursue her love of biology with a goal of becoming a biomedical researcher. She is dedicated to helping others and hopes to focus on research that will result in improvements in medical procedures and treatments or in developing cures. Congratulations, Maham Desai. The next award is Chico High School Class of 1961. This award is given to a student who has demonstrated interest and talent in the field of arts and humanities, including art, drama, and music. Class alumni who has remained active in these pursuits select this recipient. Congratulations, Lila Klein. The next award is from the Chico High School class of 1969. The CHS class of 1969 is happy to present two scholarships in the fields of engineering and industrial arts to the Chico Senior High class of 2020. The scholarships for further education are for individuals who have values in work ethic, positive character, integrity, determination in adversity, and compassion for others. These are the values the class of 1969 chooses to recognize and embrace. And the recipients are Aaron Gonzalez and Josette Travis. Congratulations to both of you. The next award is from the Chico High class of 1988. As a class, we had grit, authenticity, rhythm, balance, and uncertainty. We witnessed the Space Shuttle Challenger go down before our eyes in 1986. Interest rates were double digit on homes, unlike today. As a class, we lost loved ones and friends to the AIDS pandemic. The washout on the Sacramento River was a popular gathering place, particularly on Senior Cut Day. We co-mingled with the visiting teams at all well-attended high school sporting events that were held indoors and outdoors. VHS killed Betamax, Google that, and video killed the radio with the rise of MTV. And the class of 1988 recognizes Sophia Hamp. Congratulations. The next award is Chico High School Alumni. This award is funded by the sale of the commemorative bricks which decorate the stadium entrance. The foundation board selects a student who is the child of a Chico High alum who has been an active Panther throughout high school. Congratulations, Isabella Snyder. I'd like to welcome back Mr. Kessler. Our next award is the Paiva family. The scholarship was established in the memory of Tony Paiva, longtime Butte County farmer and 1956 Chico High School grad. He worked with his brother Jim at Paiva Holing and Shelling for ne nearly 30 years and also owned and operated Tony's Orchard Recycling. Tony was a true farmer at heart, and his family honors a student who loves agriculture as well. Congratulations to Erica Sauce. Our next award is the Bertagna Family Award. This scholarship 
was established by brothers Ben, Nick, and Andy Bertagna. The Bertagna brothers all attended Chico High School and were very involved in the Ag Department and the Chico FFA. Recognizing the impact of these programs have on, having on students, the Bertagnas wanted to recognize an outstanding student and FFA member. The scholarship is based on grades, FFA involvement, and a plan to pursue a career in agriculture. Congratulations, Sophia Cardoza. And Sarah Ndong. Congratulations, Erica Sauce. Our next award is the Press Pal Memorial Award. Press Powell was the first vocational agriculture teacher, then a private business owner. He was a supporting member of the FFA Parent Booster Club at Chico High School. He greatly believed in the FFA organization and its support of our youth. This award recognizes a student who has been active and involved and an FFA leader. Congratulations, Erica Sauce. Our next award, Harry Merlot Award. The scholarship was founded by Harry Merlot, now deceased, former CEO of Sierra Pacific Industries, to recognize an agriculture student who embodies the qualities that Harry valued most, hard work and perseverance. Congratulations, Lucinda Law. Our next award, Friends of Agriculture. The scholarship was established by local farmers who wanted to promote agriculture education at Chico High School. This group has funded a variety of welding, livestock, horticulture projects, as well as purchasing computers, a large van to transport the students to various FFA competitions. Students receiving these scholarships plan to pursue a career in agriculture. Congratulations. To Natalie Hernandez, Sarah Mendonca, and Erica Sauce. Our next award is the Adam Gosmel Mem Memorial Award. The scholarship was established by family and friends in memory of Adam, who was about to start his senior year at Chico High School in August of 1997. Adam was an amazing soccer player and friend of mine, and his family makes his, this award to students who have shown talent and dedication to sport. Congratulations to Gannon Agnew. And Kellen Lee. Welcome back up to the podium, Ms. Jennifer Kerr. team. At UC Santa Cruz, Holly started on the volleyball team as a freshman, but soon devoted her time and energy to a, a degree in geological and earth sciences. She was an up-and-coming staffer at the U.S. Geological Survey when a rare, fast-moving cancer took her life at the age of 25. Her friends and family established this scholarship to commemorate her party enjoyment of life, which included parties, athletics, and science. Congratulations to Mary Law. The next memorial scholarship is for Danny, the Danny Einhoff Memorial. This scholarship was established by family and friends of Danny, who was to start his junior year in August of 1997. Danny's family makes this award to a student who they feel embodies the spirit of their son. Smart, but not necessarily great grades. Unique individual, mellow personality, wonderful smile, positive attitude, quick wit, skiing enthusiast, no dress code, 
and a love for baseball and the outdoors. Congratulations to Mary Blau. Now I'll take a step aside while we have three of our Spanish instructors who will come up to the stage. Jamie Fisher, Jennifer Salas, and Rudy Bustamante. Buenas noches. The Dorothy Ramon uh, Scholarship is dedicated to, uh, is named after Dorothy Ramon, was a longtime beloved Spanish teacher here at Chico High. Her family and fellow teachers established this award to honor a top student, Spanish student who plans to use the language in their career in some way. The Dorothy Ramon Award recognizes a graduating senior who not only demonstrates excellence in Spanish, but also shows a great passion for the culture of Spanish speakers. It's also important for the recipient to show how they will use Spanish in the future. This year, our field of candidates was so strong that we could not decide on one, and we have chosen to honor two outstanding seniors this year. The first recipient is a student whose passion for the language and culture is evident not only in class, but through her community involvement as well. As a sophomore, this student became a founding member of a club that gives a voice to Latino students at Chico High, and she has been an integral part of the club since its inception. She also seeks opportunities to use her second language to inspire others, increase cultural awareness, and create a positive social change. Felicidades, Olivia Villaseñor. Good evening. The second recipient demonstrates zeal, energy, and commitment to the Spanish language. In addition to expressing a desire to study abroad and work in South America, this student is dedicated to improving her Spanish skills in order to better serve Spanish-only patients when she becomes a nurse. Her clear plan and devotion to her second language makes evident why she is deserving of this honor. And if I may add, I'm happy that she was able to share with us in our Costa Rican excursion last year, and I hope that she's able to make it for next year's trip to Peru. Peru. Congratulations, Morgan Hirschberg. The Department of World Languages would like to um, thank both candidates for the passion and dedication they've shown over the last four years, and we can't wait to see where your Spanish takes you. And now I'd like to announce the Linda Louise Nassi Memorial. In October of 1994, a group of seven Chico High staff, led by Linda Nassi, the former comptroller of Chico High School, formed a social club and named it the Chico High Rowdy Girls. Over the years, the group has grown to 16 members, and although we're not, they are not quite as rowdy as we used to be, we still have a lot of fun together. The group awards these scholarships to young women who embody the spirit of Linda and have a great potential for success. I'd like to congratulate Jasmine Derrish and secondly, Maggie Smith. Congratulations. The next award, Cindy Kennedy Memorial. Cindy Kennedy Memorial Scholarship Fund was established to honor the legacy of Cindy Kennedy, especially her love of learning, cultural awareness, and humanitarian work. From mundane, mundane tasks to major endeavors, Cindy approached her life with a high spirit 
and dogged determination. From a young age, she used a goal-oriented approach to realize her dreams. This enabled her, among many other things, to gain a deep understanding of the world and other cultures. By traveling to over 30 countries to graduate summa cum laude from Chico State University with a degree in multicultural and gender studies, and to found Namaste House, an orphanage in Pokhara, Nepal. In addition, Cindy was a devoted friend to many and was always available to lend a word of advice, a sympathetic ear, or a helping hand. This scholarship aims to support students with a similar spirit and determination as they embark on a journey to realize their dreams and tackle challenging issues. With this in mind, the fund is proud to award a $1,000 scholarship to Olivia Villasenor and Lila Klein. Congratulations to these girls. And now this is a new scholarship I'm introducing, the Alvester Family Student Athlete Award. The Victor Alvester Student Athlete Scholarship was created in 2020 in memory of Victor Alvester. Victor was the owner of Aero Union Corporation located at the Chico Airport. Among other things, the company provided aerial flight fire fighting planes for forest fire control. Victor was a leading businessman in Chico, in the Chico community. Victor's four children attended Chico High School, where they were all student athletes. Victor was an ardent fan of Chico High sports and always encouraged academic excellence. In his honor, the family is establishing this scholarship to maintain the tradition. The first recipient of this scholarship is William Baker. Willie is a fine example of a student athlete at Chico High, as he has carried a 3.4 GPA into the 2020 spring semester and was a hardworking and dedicated member of the 2019-20 league champion football team. He was named to the all EAL team as a strong safety. Willie will be attending Sierra College this fall and he will work towards an AA degree and play football. Congratulations, Willie. And now I'd like to reintroduce, I think Mr. Williams. <laughs> So this is the uh, part where you get to stretch out in your living rooms or, or get a refreshment. Um, thank you for hanging with us. This is the last uh, segment of our scholarship and awards night. Um, this next section is run by the Ch Chico Community Scholarship Group. Uh, and again, I want to kind of bring us to think that as we're reading names up here, um, when I think of the situation we're in right now with COVID-19, uh, I think about last year's uh, fire, um, all the accomplishments of the students that we're recognizing, they're a great representation of our staff, but of other students at our school as well, and I'm sure you sitting at home, um, we tend to overuse the word resiliency, I think, but in the last couple years, I think we tend to underuse the word resiliency, the power uh, of these students to continue to pursue their dreams, knowing that whatever the situation is, it is eventually going to come to a close and that their life's ambitions and dreams are worth continually fighting for no matter what the situation. So I want to say thank you for the students uh, for that, for the support from the community and the scholarship foundations and also for our hardworking staff at Chico High School. So last on the list, uh, once up again for the Chico Community Scholarships are Ms. Erica Sheridan. Trish, Trish my fault. I got you. Chico Community Scholarship Association. The first one on the list here is from the Groudon family. The Groudon Family Scholarship is a four-year scholarship of $2,000 a year. 
This scholarship was established because their family believes in teaching a family full of educators. The Grounds want to encourage young people to go into teaching because they know how important the field can be. Congratulations to Tessa Coffee and to Ellie Sheridan. The North State Neurological Associates. This scholarship is awarded by the North State Neurological Associates Group to a high achieving student pursuing a degree within the medical field. This scholarship is awarded to Olivia Morska. Correct me? Olivia. Great. Sorry about that. And the American Association of University Women. The Sydney Stewart Memorial and the Jana Lawton Honor Honorarium. American Association of University Women advances equity for women and girls through advocacy, education, research, and philanthropy. AAUW was founded in 1881 and is headquartered in Washington, D.C. The local Chico branch was founded in 1920. They have two named AAUW scholarships this year. The Sydney Stewart Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Darby Ray and the Jana Lawton Honorarium is awarded to Lila Klein. The Joe Crane Memorial. Living until almost to his 103rd birthday, Joe Crane was a demanding and adored math teacher who hailed from Missouri and taught for 45 years. Or is it Missouri? One of the other. 35 of those at Chico High and six at Notre Dame. After retirement, he continued helping students by tutoring for free. He was a longtime supporter of Chico Community Scholarship Association. And this scholarship is awarded to Diego Vilches Asornio. The beta, beta chapter of Omega Nu. Omega Nu is a philanthropic women's group founded in 1897 in the Bay Area. There are 12 chapters in California. Beta chapter of Omega Nu was founded in 1920 in Chico and is proudly celebrating 100 years of giving within our Butte County community. They are all volunteer community women who work together to hold events and raise funds to support a variety of local charitable causes each year. Their annual giving includes scholarships to local young women graduating high school and continuing their education. One factor they consider is demonstrated community service. In 2000, the foundation was established to help ensure our scholarship giving in perpetuity. They proudly present awards to two young women graduates of Chico High School Class of 2020. They celebrate you from a distance and congratulate you and the whole Chico High School Class of 2020. Your ability to adapt and persevere in this global situation already demonstrates your greatness. And the beta chapter is awarded to Yahara Cruz Gonzalez and Autumn Tesso. And next up is Mr. Brandon Kessler. Okay, our next CCSA scholarship is the Hugo and Margaret Giske Memorial scholarships. Both Hugo, Hugo and Margaret Giske were extremely involved in the community. Hugo loved being a Kiwanian, Mountain View, and Chico chapters, and worked on their service projects well into, their, into his 80s. Margaret led Girl Scouts and Bluebird troops and helped support youth theater. These scholarships are funded by Tessa Giske and Mr. and Mrs. Giske's daughter. 
congratulations for the Hugo Giski Memorial to Maham Desai. And for the Margaret Giski Memorial, Haley Ropes. Congratulations to both of you. Our next scholarship is from the Crossan family. The scholarship is funded by and the recipients chosen by Cassandra and Brian Crossan. Congratulations to Alan Nava. Our next scholarship is the Gene Howard Memorial Scholarship. Gene Howard was a longtime PE teacher at Chico Junior High School. Go Cougars. After Gene passed away, 10 of his friends spent eight years doing fundraisers to build an endowment which would keep his memory alive and allow two students every year at each high school in Chico to earn a scholarship to further their education. Congratulations to Victoria Jacobson and Taryn Quilisi. Welcome back up. was a dedicated teacher, principal, and coach who devoted 35 years to education and student growth. During his 23 years as principal of Chico High School, he was steadfast in promoting educational opportunities for all students. In his honor, the Roger, Rogers family established a scholarship fund to encourage deserving high school students to pursue their educational goals, expand their horizons, and strive for service above self. For the Roger Williams Family Scholarship, I'd like to congratulate Ziona Giankuska. I hope I did that right. And now the Red and Gold Award. This scholarship is funded by Sarah Simmons, a former teacher and administrator with Chico Unified School District. It was founded in honor of her father, Willie Simmons, and her brother, Sam Simmons, both of whom taught at Chico High. And the Red and Gold Scholarship goes to Vanasia Vang. Congratulations. The Chico Rotary Chico Freshman Scholarship Rotary is a global network of 1.2 million neighbors, friends, leaders, and problem solvers who see the world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. Chico Freshman Scholarships are awarded to graduating seniors from Chico High School attending California State University, Chico, or other accredited four-year college or university. Chico Rotary Freshman Award is given to Julia Holberg. Congratulations. Oh, there's more. In addition, Jake Towner gets that award. The Chico Rotary Bob Bellin Scholarship. Bob Bellin Rotary Scholarship was established in 1994. The utmost importance in reviewing applicants is finding a person who can best represent the type of person Bob Bellin was. If at all possible, but not as a requirement, preference should be given to any proposed recipient who either is or has been involved with Boys and Girls Clubs as a member or leader. And the recipient of the Bob Bellin Scholarship is Devon Danger. Danger. Congratulations, Devon. In addition to Devon is Samrat Bapa. The Dottie Locke Scholarship from Chico Rotary. The Foundation Endowed Scholarship Fund was established by a bequest from Dottie Locke and given to Chico area students to further their education at a college 
or university level. There are two recipients for this award. The first, Sarah Mendonca, and the second, Josephine Walker. Congratulations. Chico Rotary Career and Technical Education Endowment. Chico, excuse me, Career and Technical Education Endowment was established in 2007 to support career technical education through student scholarships and institutional program support. The recipient of this award is Edward O'Haran. O'Haran. And then lastly, the Chico Rotary Montgomery Stipend. The Montgomery Scholarship in honor of Fred Montgomery is awarded to, for one year to a graduate of Chico High School. To the extent such a determination can be objectively made, the student should be the most proficient and aspiring scholar within the Chico Unified School District. Um, and the winner of that is Andrew Snyder. Very nice. And now I would like to introduce Erica Sheridan again. The next award is on behalf of Joanne Palmer. Joanne Palmer began this fund in 2013. She's a local businesswoman and is an active member of the local chapter of the American Association of University Women. She participates in the selection of the recipients. Congratulations, Aubriana Hernandez. Chico Sunrise Rotary is my next scholarship. Rotary, Rotary is an organization of both active and retired businessmen and women throughout the world who come together to serve their community and enjoy great fun and fellowship. The Rotary Club of Chico Sunrise was founded on April 1, 2002. The club was sponsored by the Noontime Chico Rotary and Durham Rotary. And the recipient is Salvador Vargas Trujillo. The next scholarship is PEO Sisterhood Chapter VB. The philanthropic educational organization Sisterhood is a U.S.-based international women's organization of about 230,000 members with a primary focus on providing educational opportunities for female students worldwide. Congratulations, Viviana Quintana. The next award is the Four Foundation. The Four Foundation is a private nonprofit based in Chico whose focus is to provide education to the people of California regarding environmental issues. And the recipient is Isaac Schwein, as well as Josette Travis. Congratulations. The next award is the Colin Sweeney Memorial. This scholarship's recipients are selected by the parents of Colin Sweeney, Brian and Karen Sweeney. Colin was a senior at Chico High School at the time of his death in October 2006. Congratulations goes to Jackson Buchanan and Andrew Snyder. And congratulations, Macy Spearman. The next award is from Golden Valley Bank. At Golden Valley Bank, they like to say that everything you see, everything you see, buildings, the cars you drive, the roads you drive on, the homes you live in, heck, the clothes on your back, everything you see, unless it was put on this earth by God himself, is a result of successful business. Successful businesses that pay taxes and employ people who pay taxes. Congratulations, Olivia Goldblatt. I'd now like to bring up Ms. Davey. the Larry Seifert Memorial Scholarship. Larry L.L. L. Seifert was the first director of Chico Area Recreation District, otherwise known as CARD. Major contributors to this fund are Faye and the late Jean Howard, Kathleen Seifert, and Toby Stornetta. 
The scholarship is being awarded to Olivia Villasenor. The Paiva Family Farms Scholarship. Jim Paiva, a Chico High alum, and his family own Paiva Hulling and Shelling. This scholarship honors a student who loves agriculture and has participated in Chico High's Ag program. This scholarship is awarded to Sophia Cardoza. The Seroptimus International of Chico. Seroptimus is a global organization that provides women and girls with access to the education and training that they need to achieve economic empowerment. And this scholarship is awarded to Lily Sajadai. The Alberta Simic Honorary. This scholarship is funded annually by Chico Community Scholarship Association in appreciation for the many years Alberta Simic has served CCSA and the students of Chico as board member, counselor, and educational advisor. And this scholarship is awarded to Erica Soss. The Dr. Stephen Abbott Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by, and the recipients chosen by, Judy and Stephen Abbott, who DDS, who is longtime Chico dentist and Chico High School alum. And this scholarship is awarded to Melody Soto Chavez. Next up is Brandon Kessler. Okay, our next scholarship is the Eddie Booth Memorial. Eddie Booth was a central figure in reporting on and promoting baseball in the Chico and Butte County area for over 40 years. He was the sports editor at the Chico Enterprise Record and dubbed Mr. Chico to honor his many contributions to the community. His son, Ed Booth Jr., is active in the selection of this awards recipient. Congratulations to Abraham Del Real. Our next scholarship is the Sprague Family Scholarship. The Sprague Family Scholarship is funded annually by Dr. and Mrs. Monroe Sprague. Congratulations to Justin Henderson. Our next scholarship is the Chico Breakfast Exchange Club. The Chico Breakfast Exchange Club is a local service organization that serves the community. They raise money for a variety of other charities, including local little leagues, Wings of Eagles, Handy Riders, and the local high school safe and sober graduation parties. Congratulations to Reagan Davis. John Nichols Memorial Scholarship. John Nichols was a basketball coach at Chico High School. I had the privilege of playing for Coach Nichols and a third generation farmer on the Goral Ranch. His wife, Christina, a former CCSA board member and daughters, along with the Goral Ranch, make contributions each year in memory of Mr. Nichols. The recipients are chosen by the basketball coaches. Congratulations to Sela Dow and Andrew Guyman. Beulah Rebecca Lodge, number 60. The Beulah Rebeccas are the female division of the International Order of Odd Fellows, which is a global, altruistic, and benevolent fraternity, fraternal organization. Two recipients of this scholarship, Mary Blau and Carter Cook. Congratulations, ladies. Back up to the podium, Ms. Jennifer Kerr. I'd like to introduce the Lawrence Laughlin Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by Mr. Laughlin's wife, Lily, to honor his memory. 
The main criteria for this award is a student with a desire to further science education. Congratulations to Guadalupe Flores Corrubia. And the spirit of Janie Nickerson. Dedicated to the memory of Janie Nickerson, a lifetime swimmer, fierce competitor, and loyal teammate. The Spirit of Janie Nickerson Scholarship is given to a member of the Chico High swim team that shares the exemplary characteristics of its namesake. The scholarship is awarded to someone who, like Janie, dedicates their time on the team to ensuring all feel welcome and included regardless of their ability or history with the sport. She puts her teammates first and the respect of her coaches first, maintains a positive attitude, and leaves it all in the pool when it comes time to race. And this scholarship is awarded to Kaylee Carone. Next, the Betty Kimball Memorial. I'm not gonna say this right. Betty, even as Kimball's family, established La Hacienda Restaurant. Chico Community Scholarship Association and the school counselors select a Chico High student for this award. And our recipient this year is Talia Kruger. And now the John Powell Memorial. Chico Community Scholarship Association awards this scholarship in honor of John Powell who was a CCSA board member and treasurer for over 30 years. He was a CPA and founding partner of John A. Powell and Associates. And the recipient of this award is Isabella Snyder. Congratulations, Isabella. And now up to the podium, Erica Sheridan again. So the next award is entitled Richard Powell Honorary. This scholarship is funded by Chico Community Scholarship Association in appreciation for the many years Rich Powell served on our board of directors as treasurer. Congratulations, Sophia Hamm. The next award is in honor of Ted Hubert. Ted Hubert was a longtime Chico businessman and a Chico City Council member. Each year, the Boys and Girls Club selects an outstanding member to be the recipient of this scholarship. Congratulations, Jesse Saavedra. The next award, Josephine Arnold Endowed Memorial. Josephine Arnold taught English at Chico, High, Chico Junior High. Excuse me. The number of scholarships awarded each year is determined by the funds available. They are usually awarded to students entering education. Congratulations, Allie Fritz. The next scholarship is from the Alpert family. This scholarship is funded by and recipients are chosen by Julie and Bruce Alpert. Congratulations, Morgan Hirschberg. The next scholarship is entitled CCSA General. The following students have been selected for these scholarships from the CCSA General Fund in recognition of outstanding scholarship, citizenship, and community service. Congratulations goes out to Gannon Agnew, William Bearden, Natalie Hernandez, Molly Kay, Lucinda Law, Sophie Purser, Lyndon Rothstrom, Elena Silverman, and Alexander Wilkins. Congratulations. I'd now like to turn the podium back over to Mr. Williams. Thank you very much. 
Um, thank you for joining us this evening. Um, I want to say a few things to the people who supported these. Please keep these donations coming. It really helps support our students in their next steps of their lives. Also to the students who were the recipients of these awards, um, thank you for your hard work and I hope you appreciate these contributions that are given to you. And I'd like you to, to think about, you know, play, paying it forward and when you go out there and, and you uh, put yourself in life and you work towards your dreams, uh, perhaps you will come back and, and place a scholarship uh, on this evening's venue and help out a student like yourself. Um, I would also like to say thank you to all the people behind the scenes, Mr. Pacetti, Ms. Wisdom, Ms. Pacias, who are on the other side of the camera. Thank you very much. I'd like to bring up Trisha Davies, Jennifer Carey, Erica Sheridan, and Brandon Kessler. If you could just stand here with me and we'll, we'll do a little parting goodbye. Uh, in this brief time we've been together, which is about an hour, uh, we've given away uh, roughly over 250 scholarships in the amount between somewhere between 350 and half a million dollars. Uh, the amounts really don't matter. It's the effort behind the amount that make our students what they are. I thank you very much for joining us this, this evening. And kind of like the pillars behind us, the pillars of student success are not put in place by themselves, but rather they are a combination of each brick uh, that is carefully and painstakingly put in there by people like counselors, assistant principals, teachers, community members, supporters, friends, and family. Thank you very much for joining us for the 2020 Senior Awards Evening. Have a wonderful year. Good job, you guys.